Hi, and welcome to this brief video on how to use our class discussion board. We're using a special web tool called Piazza as our class discussion board. And in this video, we're going to discuss basic features and how to use it. By the end of this video and with some practice, you will be able to browse the discussion board, find information on it, and most importantly, add your own voice to the discussions. Piazza is to be used for questions and conversations about anything in the course, the mathematics you're learning, assignments, course logistics, really anything at all within reason, even just random conversation topics. We've chosen Piazza to use because it's free, flexible, and very easy to use, and especially because you can write up nicely formatted mathematical notation in it. So let's dive in. You can access Piazza in two ways. First of all, there is a link to Piazza in the left sidebar of your course Blackboard site. Just click on that link on Blackboard to get to Piazza. Second, if you don't want to go through Blackboard, the web address for the class discussion board is shown on your screen right now. And once you enter this URL into a web browser, you'll be taken to the main discussion board page. And then you will just click the Q&A tab to go to the main discussion area. Just to reiterate, you do not have to remember, save, or keep track of the web address for Piazza. It is linked to the Blackboard site, so all you have to do to get there is go to Blackboard and then click on the link. Right now at the start of the semester, there is not a lot happening on the board, but this will change as we work through the course. The board, roughly speaking, has a left side and a right side. On the left side, you have several things. There's a list of posts to the discussion board listed in reverse chronological order with the new ones first. Some of these posts are labeled by the week in which they were posted, while others are pinned, which means they will remain at the top of the list. The date here shows you when a post was made. The icon below the date tells you what kind of post it is. On Piazza, you have the option to post questions, notes, or polls. A question post is what you make if you're asking a question on the discussion board and you would like an answer. It looks like this, and it's read until someone answers the question. At the bottom of the post is an area for the instructor to answer the question, as well as a discussion area for others to chime in, give their answers, and ask follow-up questions. A note post is what you write if you don't necessarily need an answer. You'll see a little note icon in the left sidebar to indicate these. Notes don't have an area for answering questions, but there is an area for follow-up discussions. Finally, a poll will give you a question and some options for voting. And just like the other kinds of posts, we have an area for follow-up discussions. Notice that every post has a list of tags attached to it that will help in searching and filtering posts. For example, the poll here has tags POTW, which stands for Problem of the Week, and Polls. We'll come back to tags in a moment. Let's go back to the left sidebar. On each of the post summaries here, if you let your mouse hover over it, it has a little down arrow that gives a menu. Each post has an ID number that you can use as a link in another post, starting with the at symbol. For example, this poll is post at eight. There are some other options for things you can do with a post such as follow it. As a student, you may not see all the options that I am seeing on my instructor screen. Moving up the sidebar, let's discuss how to find information on Piazza. You can do this in a couple of ways. If you have a specific term you're looking for, then you can enter that term in the search bar here, then hit enter, and Piazza will display all the posts that have this term. Clicking the small X button will clear the search and return you to the sidebar. Just above this are some preset searches for finding unread posts, updated posts, unresolved questions, and posts that you are following. Under the gear button is a drop down menu that has all these search queries and a few more items for searching and viewing. Finally, just above this is a list of class specific tags. For example, this class has tags for logistics, other, mini projects, exams, and web work. To see a list of all posts that are tagged with web work, for instance, just click the tag that says web work. And then click the X next to filtering by to clear the view. Finally, let's look at how to create a post yourself. You can either create a brand new post if it's a discussion topic that hasn't come up yet, or you can add your thoughts to an existing discussion thread. Let's look at adding to an existing discussion thread first. 
To do this, find a post that already exists and just click in the follow-up discussion area. This brings up a rich text editor that functions like Microsoft Word, so you can type text or code, then format it as you wish, even add images and files. You can also add mathematical notation using LaTeX, which is discussed in this post, which will remain pinned to the top of your feed throughout the semester. If you are adding a new thread to the class discussion, you can do this by clicking on New Post. You'll be asked for what kind of post you want, then select the tags, which Piazza calls folders, then give it a title, then enter the body of the post, like we saw before. You can save a draft for later, or preview your post before you make it public. Once it's posted, a summary appears over in the sidebar and people can respond to it. One last thing to learn about Piazza is where your account settings are, and a very important setting that you'll want to make sure is set properly. Go to the upper right of the window to the small gear symbol and click on it to get a menu of account options. For now, just click on Account Email Settings. This brings up a page of account settings. You can change your password here and enter your email or alternative emails. Also, take a few minutes to add a picture to your account. Make sure to click Save Profile if you make any changes. Below the personal settings is an area for class and email settings. Here you'll see all the courses in which you are enrolled. The important setting that I mentioned a moment ago has to do with whether you want posts on Piazza to be sent to you via email, and if so, how often. The expectation in our course is that you will check in on the discussion board twice a day and contribute regularly. To do this, it helps to have a regular email updates of what's being posted, and this is where you select the settings on this. So click on the link that says Edit Email Notifications to get some options for this. The recommended setting for your class is Smart Digest 2 Hours, which is the default setting. This means that every two hours you'll be sent a summary of posts that have been added, including follow-up discussions, to the email address that you provided. Receiving an email digest every two hours will serve to help you keep up to speed on what's happening in the course. And just as a reminder, keeping up to speed and knowing what's been posted and contributing to the discussions is a non-negotiable requirement of your participation in the course. Now, that said, you can change the settings on this to get an update anytime something happens, or a digest every day, or at different intervals besides two hours. Just make sure that you are getting enough updates to stay current. So I'm really looking forward to using Piazza with you, and I think you'll enjoy using it too. Thanks for watching.